What up, what up? Welcome back to the channel. I'm with IJ and we are locked in. This is episode two of All American. We know Beverly Hills won back to back state championships. Jordan is living it up. Spencer left because his best friend Coop was shot in the hospital. And at this point, he doesn't even know if he wants to go to college. Man, we worked so hard four seasons for him to turn his back on school like that. But before we get into this episode, shout out to the notification gang. If you're new to the channel, you'll be a part of it. Hit the subscribe button, turn on your notification bell so you get something every time I upload. Hit that like button. It's the easiest thing we can do. Now, Coop, the last thing we seen was her talking to the police and telling them, you know what? I did the shooting just so it wouldn't fall back on preach. So Coop is putting herself back into the game when she could just say, I don't know who shot who. That means Preach got to get rid of that gun and we won't have any problems. But we're going to see what happens from here. This is All American Episode 2. We start off with the two young birds, Spence and Liv. Now, they getting it on, but they at Spencer's house and she's trying to convince him, you know, you should move back in with us. But I don't think she can make that call. Billy is not trying to talk to Spencer right now. And that's her big thing. You got an issue with my dad. You can't avoid him too much longer. You're going to have to talk to him. But Spencer, you know, he's hard headed and he, he really doesn't want to deal with that. So he has to get to work. But uh, his little guy, he, you know, he's at attention and he's like, uh, I got to get this down. And she's like, all right, I'll take you to work. <laughs> when Spencer gets to work, Asher and Jordan are there. Everyone hangs out at either the Beverly Hills Cafe or the Crenshaw Cafe. I keep telling y'all that the only two hot spots. Now they're in there. Jordan's joking around with Spencer talking about, man, we a two time champion. Spencer's talking about, man, you got to put an asterisk next to that. Now it ain't no asterisk. You left, y'all lost. That's it. You know what I'm saying? You shouldn't have left. If you wanted to win, you would have stayed. But he sees Asher looking off. And we know Asher hasn't played football because of his condition that he has. So he's saying, well, you know, I'm kind of at the point where I'm all right with that, even though he still wants to play. But at least I went out as a two time champion. Jordan stops Spencer before he goes back to work and says, you know, uh, I'm sorry that you trained me and stuff. Yeah, I know it was on my fault, but don't worry. My dad, he's not just mad at you. He's also mad at me for doing the training. He's not really talking to me. So we're in the same spot. But me knowing Billy, he's going to come around. Of course, if you're a kid, you know, all right, my dad going to be mad for a little bit, but he'll be all right. You know what I'm saying? Let some time go by. He'll be all right. Liv is still trying to get this connection between Spencer and her dad back to, to how it was. So she's saying, hey, dad, Spencer said hi. You're going to say it back? He's like, is Spencer here? She says, nah. They start talking about him going to Toledo State, which is in Ohio. And she's saying, well, if Spencer's going to go there, I'll just go with him. And this is where Billy tries to tell her, Spencer is going to do what Spencer does. Whatever is best for him is what he's going to do. And he should be. They're 17, 18 years old. He still has a lot of life ahead of him. Now, we know he turned down the scholarship, so he's just making irrational decisions. And, of course, a father is going to see his, his daughter dating a guy that's like that. And he's saying, hey, you need to focus on you and do what you need to do. One, y'all too young to even be in love. Like, we've seen how Jordan and Simone's relationship worked, and they got married. So, y'all just dating? This is easier to separate and could continue to go on about your own way. Layla's moved in with the family. And today is her 18th birthday. So she's hoping, please don't do a lot for my birthday. Please don't do a lot for my birthday. When she gets down, they just jump out and they surprise her with some pancakes that looks like an L, but it's just really a, a L pancake. Like you just make it and cut it. <laughs> Terrible, especially for 18 years old. And Layla's saying, you know, I don't really want to celebrate my birthday like that. Jordan and Liv, they both say, since when? Because she's always loved celebrating her birthday. She's just at a point in her life where, you know, she had one of her friends try to commit suicide. Her dad's trying to get back in her life. So she's saying, look, I don't want to do anything for my birthday. But, you know, the twins ain't going to let that slide. Patience is talking to Coop. We seen Coop tell the police, oh, well, you know, I think I don't, I don't know who did the shooting. Oh, I shot her. My bad. So Patience is trying to move her away from that and just get her to focus back on music. She dropped out of high school. She didn't even get a GED. People, even if you are going to be a rapper, at least finish school so you have some options in case something does happen. And Patience is saying, you've been busy. You're keeping your face in the phone. Why don't you talk to me? Coop says, I'm busy. I'm just trying to get back to the studio. She's like, why are you trying to rush back? Did your doctor say it was all right? Oh, no, nah, no, nah, we good. We're going we gonna to get there. Patience just wants Coop to open up so she can talk to her and understand why are you making these decisions? Why did you say that you shot Mo 
when this could get you in trouble and derail everything you have going on. Layla clearly told them, I don't want anything for my birthday. She gets to school. They didn't decorate her locker. She opened it up as balloons. JJ's a jack in the box. And everyone pops out like, happy birthday. Now, they got a plan. And this plan is to have a good birthday party for her. And she's like, uh, please don't do nothing big like that. Let's just have a small dinner. But they're looking at each other like, nah, we playing too long to just have a, a little birthday dinner. We're going to have this birthday party. Would you look at that? Even Simone popped up. Now, her and Jordan, it don't look like they're really talking to each other like that. They may have broken up. They wanted to end the marriage. We know she's supposed to be going to Atlanta and getting her freak on with some baseball player. But she's here, and Jordan's been getting closer and closer to Layla. So this could be a good thing for her to get up out of here. Now, Spence is at school, and he's talking to Liv, and she's saying, you and Dad, y'all need to squash that. Y'all need to make things happen. Billy's walking by in the hallway, and they look at each other, him and Spencer, but, you know, he kind of just brushes it off and keeps walking and spencer he's thinking you know what i do need to talk to billy because this ain't gonna work i'm gonna see him every day for the rest of the school year mind you they just won state so this means it's about november december ish time frame so you still got a whole school year ahead of you plus you dating his daughter you're gonna have to see him asher goes and talks to his coach and she's saying everything that you did all the work you put in for the team it's not gonna go unappreciated you deserve that ring and he's like, oh, I know, but, you know, I, I, I put football behind me now. It's good to be a two-time champ. What she does is make a recommendation for Asher to go see a doctor for the, the Los Angeles Rams because her husband has some connections. Now, first thing I would have said if I'm Asher, like, hey, my parents can't afford to go see no NFL doctor. But this is just off the love of Coach Montez. And Asher is saying, you think he's going to give me any different advice or any, you know, saying any different results? She's saying it's worth to try. I mean, he works with real football players, like real athletes. So you might as well go see him, especially if it's free. JP's been trying to get back into Layla's life. Now, he's doing everything wrong. She's 18 years old. He brought her a, a tiara. I'm like, bro, what, what's she going to do with that? Even I know not to buy somebody a tiara. He's like, oh, well, I thought it was just, you know, head, you know, head piece. She's like, nah, but I, I, I don't want to get any more gifts from you, dad. I just want to enjoy my time with you. But he's going overboard. They brought out, <laughs> brought out a little cupcake. And you know when they bring out birthday cakes. Happy, happy birthday. Happy. And she's just looking around like, man, I didn't want none of this. Now, Patience father, you can see he's down to earth. And I like this guy because what he's saying is like, all right, Patience. Hey, how's everything going? She's like, oh, it's good. Just trying to, you know, get back in Coop's life. And the dad sits her down and says, I don't mind you dating Coop. But listen to me. Since you guys been dating, she joined a gang. She got shot. She's a rapper. She's snitching on people. This isn't a good look, man. It's not safe being around her. And someone needed to tell Patience that. Everyone's been telling Spencer, look, don't be around Coop because she's the one bringing all that bad energy, all that bad juju towards you. The whole time, Patience is the one dating the girl. But at least he says it. And Patience is starting to think about it like, man, she is being distanced from me. Spencer comes to pick up Liv after school. Well, she, <laughs> he rides a bus over there to get picked up by her and then go wherever they're going to go to the birthday party. But he goes in, he starts talking to Billy. And Billy's like, oh, I'm busy right now. You know, I'm, I got stuff to do. Pretty much trying to avoid the conversation with Spencer. And Spencer is saying, man, you don't have to be mad at me, but I'm going to be here and I, I want to talk to you about it. And Billy's like, I'm not mad. Hey, it is what it is. It happened. Billy's too old to be acting like this. Spencer's hard headed. So you put these two together and it's like oil and water. It's just not going to mix. <laughs> They're going to really have to sit this down and talk it out. This is going to be like a whole episode conversation they need. Asher's mom, she doesn't want to take Asher to go see this doctor because she's a bad mom. We know that, but she's back in his life. So what she's telling coach is we just got him to a spot in his life where he's separating himself from football. And now you're trying to bring him back in here and give him this false hope. Coach Montez is saying, I'm trying to help the boy out just because you've been a bad mother. Don't try to put that on me and try to keep him away from getting the help and stuff that he needs. So Montez has actually came to and feels like Asher's a good kid, which he is. You know, he does make some teenage mistakes. But Mama Asher, she's over here like, nope, I don't want my son doing none of that. Mm -mm, mm -mm. This way, Asher would just be up under her all the time, because if he ain't going to be making a lot of money coming out of school, he's probably going to be living with mom and he's going to be needing stuff from her. Ah, some parents are just weird like that. 
Liv comes home and starts talking to Jordan. Hey, Jordan, you need to talk to Dad so he can talk to Spencer. He's holding up his rings like, hey, man, Dad mad at me because we beat him in the state championship. And uh, when Dad's mad at me and yelling and not talking to me, you don't you don't seem to care. Now you sticking up for Spencer. She's like, well, at least you, you live here and you can still see him and you do talk to him a little bit. Jordan's like, man, it's not my job to get my dad to talk to Spencer. He doesn't talk to me. I'm just trying to play the game. But he's like, uh, all right, we'll see what we can do. But Liv is really on this. She wants she wants Billy and Spencer to be good. Now it's time for Coop. She's supposed to be meeting up. We getting back in the studio. We feel like Pac after he got shot now. You know what I'm saying? We, we getting it. I'm talking about the first time. We about to be in the studio. We knocking out three songs a day, a hundred in a month. You know, that's just what we doing. But when she gets here, she can't really catch the beat. Coop making that face because when the beat's playing, she's like, man, that beat going a little too fast, Layla. Can you, can you slow it down? Layla's like, no, nah, man, the beat's the beat. This is the same beat that you had before you got shot. But the thing is, Coop got shot and she can't really breathe. So she can't rap as fast as she used to be able to to get on the beat. And Layla's telling her, Look, if you rush back, you know, we can take our time. But if you're not ready, let's leave the studio because we're wasting studio time. And that studio, it costs. In this studio, they probably 45, 50 an hour. And, you know, they ain't really bringing no money. They might even get a discount because of, of her dad. But other than that, they just wasting money. And Coop in there looking like, Ooh. hey, Coop, you know you ain't ready. Jordan goes and talks to his pops. Hey, Billy. Why are, you, why are you mad at Spencer? Why aren't you talking to him? Is it because you love him more than me? And Billy's thinking, no, Spencer isn't my son. I love you and I push you harder because I want more from you. Now, the reason he was on Spencer so much is because Spencer didn't have the opportunity that you had, Jordan. You were already in a place and we raised you and we hope that we raised you right. So with Spencer coming in, the reason he was on him more is because one, you got a kid from Crenshaw. You want him to live to the standards that you're living to so you want him to understand y'all lifestyle so that's why he was on him a little bit more but he doesn't love anybody more than he loves his kids that's just preposterous like come on jordan they got jordan overly dramatic this episode but he's like but dad you know what this is why i can't talk to you i don't want to be around you and that's got to be his white side because if he had a black mom he wouldn't be acting like this billy wouldn't let him be talking to him like he's his equal but Jordan is in there going off, though. He's like, man, you've been on him harder than me. You love him more than me. And Billy just said, nah, I don't love anybody more than y'all. Like, come on now. that's Come on, Jordan. I love you, kid. And it ain't because y'all beat me. I ain't talking to you. I'm just upset that you were practicing when you was hurt, man. That's all. Coop shows up to talk to Patience about what happened at the studio. Now, Patience was trying to swing by. She couldn't get there because she had the little appointment with her dad talking about don't hang with Coop. And then she already said, hey, Coop, did your doctor clear you to rap? Coop talking about, nah, I'm good. Turned out she wasn't good. She can't breathe fast enough to rap. She can't rap the same. And Patience in her head is thinking, I told you so. You should have just chilled. My whole thing is Coop saying, I'm about to quit rap. You ain't been in long enough to quit. You just stepping away from it. Like, okay, you ain't put out no hits. This is your time to capitalize. Coop got shot. Coop on the road. Yeah, if you really want to be this rapper, live it. Be that rapper then. But she talking about I'm going to quit. I don't want to do this no more. It's time for the birthday party. Okay, the birthday girl on the way. We got to get the house right. They got streamers up. They got a little confetti, balloons. And Asher shows up. Now, Asher went to the Rams to get checked out. Jordan being a football fan, everybody's a football fan. He's like, hey, you seen, okay, you seen the doctor up there? Dang, you get a picture or anything? Jordan like, yeah, man, you know, I got a little, I mean, Asher talking about, I got a little bit of stuff. He's like, shoot, man, that's cool then. what they say though? Because that's what we really want to know. Are you able to get back out on that field? Liv is staying on this. You two need to talk. Now, they at the birthday party. They waiting on Layla. She got a big ass pinata in her hand. She's talking about, if you two care about me, you'll talk. Billy lowers his head. He's like, man, I ain't trying to talk to this fool, man. We lost state because of you. You quit at halftime. Spencer wants to talk to him, but you know, sometimes Spencer is reserved and he, he holds back. But once that emotion builds up in Spencer, he'll just say, you know what, Billy? Man, I really care for you guys. Y'all are like a family. But at this point, they aren't going to talk it out. And Billy's starting to act weird all night. Like he'll walk by him. He won't say anything. Like, Billy, you too over this. 
If you don't want to be involved, just go upstairs to the room and chill. Layla finally shows up. Everybody's in the kitchen. Hey, happy birthday. They pull out the little box and she's, you know what I'm saying? She's kind of awkward. She doesn't want to be there. She told them, I don't want to do anything big for my birthday. But JJ, Jordan, Asher, the party crew of Beverly Hills, they made it happen. And they push out this little box and a dude gets out and starts dancing like a mime. I'm like, man, what in the hell? Patience comes over and she talks to Spencer about what's going on. Now, we've seen in the first episode that she was real close to Spencer. They they had a, pr a prior relationship, not like anything like that, but just friends. And she's saying, I'm here for Coop, but Coop isn't paying no attention to doing anything. She has lung issues and she can't rap. And Spencer's telling her, this is the same information they've been giving him. You got to stick with it when it comes to Coop. You know, she she's kind of hard headed, but she means well. So he's telling her, you, you just got to support her like we all support each other. And it'll, you know, it'll play itself out. But it hurts for him because Coop is his dog. And she, if she can't rap, she ain't got no education. What's she about to do? Go work at Walmart or something? Spencer and Jordan, they're talking about how awkward it is for Spencer to be here because it's Layla's birthday party. He used to date Layla. They broke up. He got with her best friend, a.k.a. Jordan's sister. And Jordan's kind of asking these questions like, is it kind of awkward to you? Because he's trying to move in with Layla. But y'all didn't hear that from me. And he's like, oh, it's not. It's nothing like that. We all good. You know, me and Layla, we friends. Billy comes in. He's being weird. No reason for him to even be in the kitchen. He's talking about, oh, excuse me. Reaches in between them and grabs something. Like, hey, Billy, come on, bud. Slap him in the back of the head if I was Jordan. Because this is my dad. We play around like that. But they're talking to each other. And Jordan's just telling Spencer. Yeah, I went off on him earlier because he's mad at me too. And I know he's kind of mad at me because you and I trained together. But it's really my fault. He shouldn't even be mad at you. Laura sees Billy walking around like a fool. And she pulls him to the side and saying, hey, you can't be mad at Jordan for getting back that soon. When you got hurt in the NFL, what did you do? You got back up and started training. Jordan did the same thing. All he wanted to do was get back on that field. And you're, you know what I'm saying? You're criticizing him. And that's just because he's being a father. And he wants to make sure that his child is good. Every, every parent wants the best for their child. Now, Jordan, he did do something risky. He wasn't cleared. He could have got hurt again. But in his case, he actually came back better than what he was. So that's a win-win. And that's all Laura's trying to get him to see. Billy, he's just like you. Spencer and Layla, they're sitting out here and they're talking. Now, it's kind of awkward because they broke up. You know what I'm saying? They were out in Vegas and they... Mm, downhill you need to go back and watch all those now they have an awkward conversation but it's a conversation that needed to be had and they're just catching up a little bit she's talking about her music he's just talking about yeah you know i'm trying to figure things out but she's feeling down especially with what happened to her friend carrie and what's going on with her dad so spencer's telling her what you need to do is find out how to hide stuff that's what i did and then he jokes around about hiding from from the party just in case jj and them bring something else out and Layla, she takes the advice because you don't have to put everything out there. There are some things you want to talk about because you don't want to hold them in. But it's best that you hide a few of the things because if you start letting people know, just like with Carrie, the dude said, hey, man, everything good with you and your friend? Man, you, everybody don't need to know all that. Asher and Coop, the combo we didn't think we would ever need. Now, Asher... He's listening to everybody talk about football. And he starts looking for some liquor because he's like, man, let me get this off my mind. Coop comes in and tells him, I doubt they have any liquor. Now, both of them had an injury that could potentially end everything. So Coop is talking about how she can't rap. Asher, he got his two rings on. He's he's waving around like he just out there doing this thing. Like, yeah, you know, it, it, it is what it is. But I mean, I'm injured, too. I, I might not be able to play football, but they're both you know coming to an understanding that they need to make best of their situation and if it doesn't work that they the way that they want it to then there's other things out here but if you really want it then you need to go for it layla goes upstairs because she's hiding away from the party Liv comes up there now layla's explaining that she feels like she isn't heard now, you can see that this is all stemming from her dad he's been gone she's at the house by herself Carrie, you know what I'm saying? She's trying to reach out to help Carrie, but no one was noticing that. And Liv is joking, like, I'll shut the party down. But Layla is saying, you know, I just want to be me and be able to live 
and just be happy with what's going on because it feels like she had too much on her shoulder. So her and Liv, they're trying to, you know, level out everything that they had, their little barriers between each other and move forward. And you know, Liv is definitely gonna try her best to help. Coop just gives up too easily. Patience is coming over here trying to help her. And Coop is, look, the dream is dead. Music is over, I'm not doing it no more. And Patience is like, Coop, just try, come on. Give it, a, you know what I'm saying, give it some time and then get back in there. And Coop is like, nope, that's it. And you can see Patience, she's starting to tear up a little bit because she's like, Coop, what are you gonna do? You gonna go back to high school? I doubt it. You gonna get your, D, your GED? I doubt it. So she just turns around and walks away. Jordan finally sits down and has the conversation he needs with Billy. And they get to talking and everything that he was saying in the kitchen earlier when he was upset, he's actually listening to Billy. And Billy is saying, look, yeah, I was proud of you because you were picking off our defense and stuff. So he's seeing that Jordan is growing as a quarterback. But also he reassures him that I don't love anyone more than you and your sister. You know, you and Liv, I respect you all the most. So I was just hard on Spencer just because he moved in with us. But you and your sister, I love y'all. And that's that's where my heart is. I'm with y'all. You know, I just went out to Crenshaw. I tried to do something else, but I'm still trying to be here for both of y'all. So now they have an understanding that Jordan, your father loves you, kid. Stop giving him a hard time with your spoiled self. Spencer stays around after the party to talk to Liv, and she's very thankful that he did. Even though it's awkward for him, and he doesn't want to be there because Billy's there. Now, she's just thanking him for that. And one thing they talk about is, even if Spencer and Billy don't get back on good terms, he may not respect Spencer for who he is, but he's going to have to respect the relationship that they have. Now, one thing that I don't agree with is Spencer kisses Liv inside the house and billy's sitting right outside so i'm like man i'm not going to kiss her inside of you know say her dad's house especially if me and him aren't on speaking terms you know i'd be there i always be in an open room not gonna be in any you know closed rooms we teenagers at that but i'm gonna just be out front you know what I'm saying just because i don't want billy to get to tripping but billy sees them kissing though he sees them and he just looks away like man i'm gonna have to talk to this kid better not be trying to knock my daughter up there you go, episode two of All American. What do you think is gonna happen between Coop and Patience? Do you think they're gonna stay in this relationship or Coop's gonna, you know, try to get back in the rap game later on? Let me know what you think, because I think Coop is probably gonna be done with the rap game and then Patience and Spencer convince her to get back in. But we're gonna see. Let me know what you think. I'm ODIJ. If you like the content on the channel, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching. And on Tuesdays, 9 p.m. Eastern, we'll do an All American stream. Make sure you tune in for that. Thanks for watching. I'm out. Jimmy on the beat, boy.